Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up because both of those help my channel so much. And thank you in advance for that. I really appreciate that. All right, Happy New Year, everybody. This, I can't believe it's 2022. It's just crazy, y'all. Well, how time is flying. But I hope you all have a blessed year this year. Happy, healthy, prosperous, and filled with love. So today we are doing Valentine's Day. Although this whole month I'm not going to do Valentine's. I'm going to do quite a few, but not all Valentine's. I'm going to throw probably birthday in there and some party favors. That kind of stuff um, we'll be throwing in there. But I wanted to do Valentine's today. I had this in my head and I just wanted to do it. It's been a while. I've made similar to this, but not exactly the size or the style, but something similar. But this is what I'm sharing today. And oh my goodness, I love this stamp set. Look how cute that is. It says, I heart you. I love this little, this is one of our sentiments. If you watched my haul, you saw me share this sentiment um, stamp set. And I'll show them all to you in just a minute. But it's just a really cute um, little box. You could fill these with hugs and kisses. Wouldn't that be so cute? So it's two by three and then it's two inches tall. This part is two inches tall. But all right, so we are matting this whole box, except for the bottom, of course. But I'm matting the whole thing. So... We are using for this today, I'm going to show you everything that we're going to use here. This is the stamp set. It's called Happy and Heartfelt. Look at these sentiments, y'all. They're so neat. I love the writing. Hello, baby. Thank you. Heck yeah. We have to celebrate this. Happy Mom Day. Happy Dad Day. This is one of those all-around ones you need to have. I love these types of sentiments where you can use it for just about everything. And so we are using the I Heart You, I Love You there. And then I am using the Bouquet of Love dies. And out of here, I'm using this big die right here. And I'm also using the flower and the leaves. This is all from this. This does come in, in a bundle with another sentiment stamp set that is just nothing but sentiments. And then I'm using my Stitch So Sweetly for the background part that's on the front. So I already cut this out in Bl Blushing Bride, and then I cut a heart out with Basic White. And then I cut out a flower out of Real Red, and then I cut the leaf. I, I cut the little one out too, but I, I didn't end up using that. And then I'm using the stitched leaf here in Granny Apple Green. So I cut everything out because I, wanna, cause I wanted to um, speed this up just a little bit. All right, so that's everything we're using. We're also using this new ribbon. I used this before, the faux linen ribbon. It's so pretty. This is in our new mini catalog. In fact, everything is in the new mini. Everything will be available January 4th, which is Tuesday. It's, it's, I can't believe how quick this is going by. I remember when I got my pre-order, and holy cow, it's just flown by. All right, so let's get started. For this, you're going to need a piece of six and a half by ten and a half, and then you do need scrap basic white, you know, to cut the card out. Scrap blushing bride, and a little piece of granny apple green for the leaf that we're using on there. I think that's everything. I'm also going to use this baker's twine, which is the fan baker's twine. This also comes in the suite. Um, with the, I can't think of it, the sports one that I showed in my, I got to remember all these names. It's too hard to try to remember them all at the same time. But this is the one I shared because my grandson is a sports fanatic. So I bought the whole suite for this and it's really cute. And I'll show you that soon. All right. So let's get started with this. We're going to score this. And we are going to score it on the ten and a half inch side at one half, at three and a half, five and a half, and eight and a half. And then you're going to score it on the six and a half inch side at one and a half, two and a half, and four and a half. 
And don't forget all these measurements. I always put an inspiration sheet on my blog at stampingwithamore.com and all the measurements and stuff will be in that inspiration sheet. So just go to my blog and you can download it, the PDF. Okay, so I'm going to give you all the measurements for these matting because there's quite a few of them. So these two here are 1 and 7 eighths by 1 and 7 eighths. That's for our end pieces. Then these two are 2 and 7 eighths by 1 and 7 eighths. And then this one is 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths. These go here. And then these two are 2 and 7 eighths by 1 and 3 eighths. And those are for the top. But don't forget to check out my inspiration sheet. I'll have everything on there um, listed. All right. So first thing that we're going to do is I am going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead right now and glue these all. And I'm just going to use wet glue. So I'm going to probably speed through this because it takes me a minute to get these down. But we are going to just glue them all in place. Okay, so everything is matted and now we're going to cut. So this is our half inch side here. We are going to cut this part off here. We're going to cut down here. There's two little rectangles there. This part's going to be our glue tab, this one right here. So we're going to cut this one off as well. And I'm going to grab my bigger scissors. You're not going to hear any chairs squeaking, y'all. My husband got me a new chair for Christmas. So it's going to be so nice not to hear my squeaky chair. <laughs> this is the bottom. We are going to cut in here. I am going to cut a little bit from each of these. It just seems to fold in better for me. And sometimes I get in a hurry and I don't remember to do that. But we're doing it on this one. These would be really cute for nursing homes too. I think putting hugs and kisses in them would be so cute for them. I, I think I get more out of it than they do. All right, so now this side, we are cutting down each one of these. And we are cutting off this one. And when you do that, you might want to just fold these back. These, it's so much easier. We're going to cut this one and that one off. And do the same here. And then you have, you are left with this right here. All right, I am using, and I always forget the name of this one, but I'll put it in the description in this video but this is our tag topper punch we have a few you can use any of them I love this little fancy top when you're doing this you want to do it from the front you're going to check it in the back but you want to do it in the front because you want to push this all the way in and you want to make sure that this is centered like the amount of space on each side here um, you want it to make sure those are equal and then flip it over make sure it's all the way to the top and then I turn it back around and then punch because it's a, you're going through designer series paper and the um, cardstock so it, you do need a little bit of a force to, and then we're going to just cut this straight across like that just like that and then we're going to do the same on the other side. Just push this through like that. And then I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. On this side and this side, there is the same amount of space or close to the same amount of space. You want to center it. And then make sure that's all the way to the top. And then punch. And then we're going to cut this one too, just like we did that one, straight across. 
just like that. All right, so there you go. We are ready to put it together now. All right, so let's sharpen these and make sure we got them all sharpened real good because I didn't think I did all that. And then these go this way and these are going to come the opposite way like that. All right, I'm going to use Stampin' Seal Plus, but you can use tear and tape, whatever strong adhesive you have on hand. And then you're just going to fold it over and then adhere it there. And then let's do our bottom. And see what I mean if you trim a little bit off of there, if it's so much nicer. Again, I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus. And that's our box right there. We're going to put our ribbon on. So I'm just going to take some here. I love this ribbon. It ties so nicely and it just, it's so pretty. And I'm not going to fool forever with it, I promise you. <laughs> and then we're just going to trim that. You can make your bow as big or as small as you want. I made this one a little bit bigger than the last. All right, so there's our bow. And now we're going to grab our little piece of Blushing Bride and we're going to attach this to the front. Like that. We're going to stamp with Memento Black our sentiment right in the center. Isn't that cute? I love this set. I love this these sentiments. I'm going to use my Stampin' Right marker and I'm coloring in the heart. And then I am going to do some little stitching around the edge here. I'm going to do it all the way around. Okay, so there's our little heart that we're putting on the front. So I am going to add, I actually use dimensionals for this. So let me grab my dimensionals. By the way, if anybody, if you don't have a demonstrator and you would like a catalog, there is a request form on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. We're going to put this one here. We're going to grab our thread, baker's twine here. And I'm just going to make a little bow. I love this baker's twine. I'm so happy that we got this back. I think we've had this striped before, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to use a glue dot. We're going to put that up here at the top. And then we're going to grab our flower and our leaf. And I did pop that up with a little mini dimensional. So I'm going to put this under here, but I'm going to get my leaf here and I'm going to put, I think I'll use some wet glue on it. Keep that in place. And we're going to set that on the side here and then pop up our little flower like that. And I'm using these new iridescent rhinestones. Oh my gosh, I don't think you can see how beautiful these are. I love these. I think these are my new fave. <laughs> All right, so let me grab my take your, not my take your pick, but my piercer, and I'm going to put that right in the center. So, so pretty. 
I love these. All right, so there you go. All done, isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, I think these are so cute. I hope you enjoyed them. If you need any supplies, I'll have my new host code on my blog. I'm filming this like the day before, so I will have the new January hostess code on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. So that is it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you need any supplies, don't forget January 4th starts the new mini catalog and celebration. Have a blessed one, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.